In Escherichia coli, two regulatory sites, the cap binding site and the operator site, function together to ensure that the three proteins required for growth on lactose are produced only when glucose, a more efficient substrate, is absent and lactose is present. The cap site is a region of DNA adjacent to the promoter. In the absence of glucose, a high level of cyclic AMP, CAMP, builds up in the cell. The CAMP binds to the catabolite activator protein, CAP, and activates it. The CAP with bound CAMP can now bind to the CAP site and bend the DNA, allowing RNA polymerase to associate with the promoter. When glucose is present, CAMP levels are low and the CAMP does not bind to the CAP. The unactivated CAP is unable to bind to the DNA and RNA polymerase does not associate with the LAC promoter. There is a second regulatory protein called the LAC repressor. This protein is capable of binding to the operator site and preventing transcription when lactose is absent and the three proteins of the LAC operon are not needed. The repressor covers part of the promoter when it binds to the operator, preventing RNA polymerase from making messenger RNA. When lactose is present, a lactose isomer binds to the repressor and inactivates it. This prevents the repressor from binding to the operator site. RNA polymerase can then associate with the promoter and carry out transcription. Transcription of the lac genes is said to be induced by lactose.